Bam. Something in the water wash out. This is a bit sad, isn't it, right? So something in the water. The festival from the one and only Pharrell Williams, my idol, someone that's been a huge inspiration to me um, culturally, musically, whatever it may be called. Someone that I'm a big, 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 big fan of. Um, did a festival over the week, over the last couple of weekends, actually. I think so, recently. I just after Coachella. That was amazing. Sick lineup. It was hosted in Virginia Beach, where he's kind of from in Virginia, essentially. So it's not in the most, you know, the most happening glitzy area of the world he kind of went to give something back to a community that kind of gave so much to him but unfortunately i think the last couple of days were completely washed out right the weather went cr the weather was super shit and they couldn't guarantee the safety of the attendees so they had to cancel it there's a little news report that kind of speaks about it and then we're going to speak about it ourselves i think this is the local virginia beach um station right i'm assuming so where's this from 13 news now let's play this now let's play this now no pun intended and well, you don't have to go far to the oceanfront to find some angry people. Yeah, weeks of planning, lots of anticipation, washed out by rain. Robert Boyd's live for us tonight at 17th in the boardwalk. And they're getting a little bit of a break, though, right? Oh, bless them. A little bit. I mean, the rain has started to come down in the last uh, 20 minutes or so. And a lot of people you're seeing walking back and forth Atlantic Avenue behind me, well, they really wish they were out on the beach enjoying uh, some of that fantastic music. But, of course, it wasn't meant to be Mother Nature and other uh, Yeah, ideas that's always sad, isn't it, when you get to festival so when it does that, right? And it washes up. And in a very disappointing fashion. Now, a lot of concert goers we spoke with said they don't necessarily really not at all blame Pharrell. You can't blame Pharrell. It's the yeah. weather. But what they do blame is they say uh, this the disorganization of the whole event when it came to alerting them about the concert being canceled. I don't know why they would cancel. Oh, I love his T-shirt, man. I need to get reimbursed. Yeah, people standing and waiting in line took took days off work and school to be here. Damn. And even some of Pharrell's biggest fans were turning on the local music legend today. They say his team should have been more prepared in case weather moved in. Yeah. It's a little disappointing how nobody was getting alerts or anything, and then out of nowhere they just say it's canceled. Justin Speaker is relieved that he will at least be getting reimbursed for the lost day. It's a little bit of money that we kind of lost out on. We paid for a three-day pass, not a two-day pass. You know what I'm saying? Anaya Johnson feels like she was lied to. The website says, rain or shine. She bought a poncho. So where is the music? I'm calling for the 260 is a lot of money. I need my money. So some people would have been happy. Again, I think it's a it's a it's a natural consequence of the fire festival, you know. I think fire festival and I'm I am i am know it's a joke, but I'm being serious. I think fire festival, the fucking backlash at Tanacon and the foozy thing that he was doing right i think there is a there is an understanding like and those things are really damaged reputation you can't I, I, again I, I think tanner will probably argue against it and i'm sure foozy will too but i don't think they could argue that their reputations took a real big dent off the back of those really abysmally organized um events i think people now are very aware and awake of just what how much goes into putting on a good event what effort what planning is needed forecasting ahead of time so for somebody like a youtuber to just decide you know I, I don't know on the whim to kind of put on an event to host thousands of their fans and think they're going to smash it is probably a little bit naive um but i think because of the backlash that these guys received i think some planners just don't want to take any chances they're like you know what fuck this we're not taking any chances if it's not going to work out i'd rather cancel it and get the backlash and refund people as opposed to put it on and do it that way and i know from my experience in the electronic music scene especially in london there was a period of time where a lot of event planners, a lot of promoters were doing the same sort of thing too. Um, they were putting events, the sound wasn't working out well, or the toilets weren't working, the bars were too packed. And essentially, they just end up refunding everyone just to kind of like, you know, make sure, hey, we're, we're sorry this happened, we refund everybody, which probably hurt them a lot. And most of these promoters probably didn't end up bouncing back. But I think in terms of reputation, the one thing that you can't do is damage your name. It's cheapening your name by putting on a subpar product. You'd rather cancel the event, refund all your attendees and say, hey, we're sorry. It's the first year. Again, first year of festivals. Like I mentioned the other day about my Hackney Half Marathon. The first year the Hackney Half Marathon was incredibly shit, right? Really badly organized. It was probably one of the... It wasn't their fault too because it coincided with it being one of the hottest summers of recent histories, right? Um, it's uh, I've mentioned it previously before. There's no real tall buildings around that Hackney area where they do the marathon at, especially around Stratford, uh, the Victoria Park and that, whatever it's called. So there's no... It's all kind of, you know open and clear so when the sun's beating down that tarmac you're getting hit everywhere every single angle you're getting hit and there's no shade whatsoever it doesn't exist 
So um, we're running around. There weren't enough water stations to cut to kind of you know accommodate for that, and people were just not used to running in that kind of heat before. It's just one of them things. Isn't it? If you're running um, again, because I'm one of the people that doesn't run. I don't run with water because I get stitches. I'm sure people get the same sort of thing too. A lot of people are like that too. So you run on empty. You're already a little bit dizzy and disoriented anyway from the workout. You know all the blood's rushing around your body and shit. It's not the best conditions. So people were fainting from heat stroke all over the place. Some of it from just fatigue and then from heat stroke too. And they didn't really have the resources on hand to kind of um, help or accommodate for those um, potential haphazards. But in the next couple of years after, it was improved a lot. They kind of over, they kind of over egged the water station. Then they kind of knew how to rein it in. Then they got those little jet stream things. It's kind of a thing you have to work out over time. But again, I think I'd much prefer it if I was for real to kind of make sure I cancel it and just kind of redo it again next year. Money back for real. Talk to me. Hey, yeah. We need cash. Mm-hmm. People, people had oceanfront restaurants and jobs to keep them entertained while they waited. People, people at the park and ride were stranded with nothing to do. We went down to the amphitheater to the ride share, um, and we were there for like five hours, and they kept saying, oh, it's only one more hour, one more hour, and people are still there. People are still there, and they just got, no, they didn't have any notification Damn. saying that there's no anything or when. Yeah, I got a feel for them, man. People also say, with the city request that you ride your bike, and, and you, you do, do it, it even in a rainstorm, rainstorm only to have them cancel on you last minute. It's, it's a frustrating feeling. We rode our bikes a lot of miles to get here mm. um, in, in the wind. wind. <laughs> so, so we're a bit disappointed. disappointed. Now, now, yeah, you really can't blame Pharrell too much because he stepped up, him and his uh, festival organizer stepped up right away, probably within an hour after the concert tonight was canceled, and said, listen, everybody with rich bands, everybody who paid their money, will get reimbursed for one day. Mm-hmm. So they did step up and say that. So anybody That's cool. who by the pass, now, now you just got to wait in the mail, the email, uh, and the email will give you the full directions of how to get that reimbursement, so you will get some of your money back. What? That's okay, though. I think in the end, they got some of them get their money back again. I just think it's it's nature of the game, right? Uh, if you go to these kind of festivals, the first ones are always going to be shit. But you want to be part of history. You want to be one of the people to say you were there first. Looking at the people that attended, looking at all the guests he had on there, from Jay Z to Tyler to X X whatever whoever person it may have been, it looked like a fucking fully fully stacked festival. Like he went over and above um, with that lineup, and people really flew in from all different parts of the country to come and see you know this legendary festival kick off and somebody you know who's a huge collaborator. And you can only you can only imagine what it's going to be like next year, right? Imagine the likes of Beyonce and all these kind of people attending his event you know he's produced for some of the biggest stars that we know um he has you know he has probably the richest musical palette of anyone involved in hip-hop right he can he can legitimately put on you know country music stars and no one would kind of be aghast at seeing them on the stage it's generally a good concert i'm sure the same sort of thing happened for golf wang festival too flog flog now can't flog now right it was a bit shitty the first time around and it got better over time too so it happens and it happens i think that's part of the festival experience you gotta kind of chalk it up to you know first round jitters and then hopefully over time they'll get better and better they'll get more sponsorship they'll get more help with production uh it's a proof of concept it's shown that it's worked it's shown that he'd be able he's you, you he's, he's able to illustrate i could get these people to come to virginia beach and hang out at this festival right a place that isn't you know the glitz and glamour of la or new york or whatever it may be so the proof of concept has been proved so let's give it let, let, let's give him time and hopefully he gets it right the next time around 